Hello everyone, it's me Jebby from Unique Tutorials. Today in this video I will show you 5 best notes app for Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, iOS and Chrome OS. So without any further more delay, let's begin. So on the first list we have the OneNote. So firstly just open any web browser and in the Google search just search for one application name as OneNote and you can see here the official website of OneNote as you can see on the first list you can see you sign into OneNote right but I will highly recommend you to click on the below option that is the download OneNote just click on here now it will take you to the download page of the official OneNote so you can see here below also available for in the Windows Store if you're using a Windows 10 or a higher version like the Windows 11 then you can download it from the Windows Store also and if you're using an older Windows operating system then you can just click on download to download the exe file for your respective Windows computer and below you can see here there are more options for the Mac OS that is the Apple computer and if you're using an iPad then you can click on iPad and if you're using an iPhone then you can click on iPhone to download it from the App Store and if you want it for your Android smartphones then you can just click on Android and it will take you to the Play Store and if you don't have any of this operating system still you can use it if you have a web browser then you can just click on and access or log into your OneNote account just by going to its website that is a web version so I'm already logged in so now let me go to the page and show you how the UI looks of this OneNote applications now you can see its user interference of the OneNote so uh, right now I'm using a web version so still it will be look similar even in the applications or if you're using in the tablets or a computer using a software installer so still it will show you this kind of user interference so you can see this kind of user interference right so on the left side you can see here the books you have created so if I click on the notebooks it will access all the notebooks that is available in my account so you can already sync all the files wherever you want and whatever device you are using so i'll not discuss much about the features what it provides so you can check out by yourself all the features what it provides and if it's providing all the necessary options or features that you want to use in your respective notes application so you can see here on the right side my login account so you need to sign in to access your all the files in the cloud best so definitely a very good applications to try it out by yourself on the second list we have the Evernote so once again open any web browser and in the Google search just search for one application name is Evernote so on the first list it will see its official website just click on it now you can see its official website right you can just scroll down below and read some details what are the features it's going to provide so I'm not making you bore by showing all these features so here you can see on the right top corner download option just click on it now you can see a download option right so if you're using a Mac or Windows or Linux then you can just click on it and it will automatically download for your respective operating system and if you're using a mobile versions then you can see if you're using a iOS or the iPhone or the iPad devices then you can just click on here and it will take you to the App Store and you can download it for free and if you're using uh, Android devices then you can click on this get it on Google Play it will take you to the Play Store and you can download this applications for free of cost so if you are not having any one of this operating system still you can use a web versions just move back here and you can see here if you have not created an account you can just sign up for free and if you have already an account then you can just click on login so I have already created an account and I already used this applications from long time so I'll show you by logging in and how the user interference looks like so now you can see the user interference of this app or not applications so right now I'm using a web version still it will look similar if you're using applications or the desktop softwares on your respective 
computer or the smartphone so you can see in the left right some options like to create and to create notes so i'm not making you bored again to show each and every options what you're going to provide so if you click on this notes then it will show you all the notes available for you and you can see your notebooks and it will show all the notebooks that is available right now or which i have created from before so once you click on the respective applications say just click on this then it will show all the list or the notes that i have created under one particular notebook so definitely a very useful software to try it out by yourself on the third list we have the google keep so once again open any web browser and just search for one application name as google keep in the google search and on the first list it will say it's official website just click on it so right now i'm using it from before so it's showing directly the user interference so if you don't see any download options right just you can move back and you can just scroll down and you can just go to the play store if you want it from the play store and if you want it for the ios just search for google key for ios or if you want it so mac os then still you can use it as a web portion so if you click on google keep it will directly log into your google keep account so i'm already using it so the user interference you can see will be looking like this so how to create a note you can just type here just type whatever you like and you can see your title so you just let me show you say sample So once you hit enter, so you can see here once you are done, you can either pin it. So you can see here once you are done, it will directly pin it, or you can unpin it also. Still, it will show you this mode. And you can once again you can create a lots of notes, how much you notes you wanna use, or you can use a new list also. If you want a to do list, you can just click on this new list. To make a to-do list so in the left side you can see a tons of options or a uh, bookmarks or the folder like bookmarks so where you can directly access from the respective names so i'll not discuss much about the features what it's going to provide so you just check out by yourself what are the features it's going to provide and if it's a perfect notes application for you or not then you can decide yourself by trying it by yourself so definitely a uh, good applications to check out by yourself on the fourth list we have the simple note so once again open any web browser and in the google search just search for one application name as simple note and on the first list it will say its official website just click on it now you can see its official website just scroll down below so you can see you available on all your devices so you can see you it's available for I am Mac computers or the iOS devices in the app stores and even for the Mac computers even available for Android in the Play Store even available on the Windows Store and available for the Linux also if you want to see more download options then you can just click on under downloads where you can find a tons of software installer files so you can download the respective files so here I will be using a web versions to show how the user interference of this application looks like on opening the applications you will see this kind of user interference right so it's a very minimalistic looking design right so i already have some notes being written on this application as i'm using it since for a long years right and it's one of my favorite too since it is very good in syncing and i can access it from anywhere whether i'm using a android ios or any computers even if I don't have uh, applications, I can directly access by going to the web portion. That is, you can see your web applications also. So you can see in the left side, you can see here some menu options where you will see some all nodes. Even it has a recycle bin that is a trace. If you delete something, it will just move to the trace. And if you in a need of those deleted files again, you can just go to the trace if you want those respective files which get stored for almost a 30 days and you can see in the settings you can just go to the settings and you will get a tons of settings options to customize your notes applications ui so here you can see new note right you can just click on here and you can just create a new note you can just 
type any notes here whatever you want to type here say you can just type every word any word as you like and the good thing about this application is that it's automatically saved you don't need to do anything you don't need to click any save or anything and it gets automatically sync up once you have logged in with your respective account so it's very useful and the good thing is that it's totally free of course and it's an open source software so definitely a very good applications to try it out for yourself on the fifth list we have the standard notes so once again open any web browser and in the google search just search for one application name as standard notes on the first list you will see its official website just click on it now it will take you to the official website you can see here directly it's showing download for windows but don't worry it is available for almost every operating system so you can see here it's available for mac also windows linux even for the mobile platforms like the ios and android so if you don't have any one of these operating systems still you can use it in any of your web browser by accessing or logging in to its web portions so let me show you how the user interface looks like on this applications so once you open the applications you will see this kind of user interface which will be look similar almost in every devices if you're using a smartphones or the computers or the web version still you will see this kind of user interface right so it is also very minimalistic design but it is looks little different compared to the simple notes which i have shown you earlier so the good thing about this application is that this also a free of cost and it has a very good sync features that you can access once you log in with your respective account throughout any computer or any smartphone devices so you need to log in by creating an account which i have created and i've logged in with my account so you can see below you can just click on the login you will see your login details you can put a password protections you can add a pass code lock also so tons of options you can do a data backup lots of options available here so i'm not going to discuss much about the features i'll just discuss about the layout so you can see here to create a node you can see here a plus symbol right just click on here and now on the right side here is a page to type anything you want to type say i'll just type a sample just to give you an example and below here is a page to type a very brief notes and here you can see uh, add tag also mentioning add tag you can use anything like you can just put a hashtag like notes you can put a hashtag notes put here whatever you like like notes just like this and you can type here your brief notes and the good part of this application is the similar way it will sync all the notes once you type so you don't need to click any sync or you need not need to back up anything once you finish your typing it will automatically sync or save on your respective cloud storage so a very useful applications to definitely check it out by yourself so these are the five best notes app for windows mac linux android ios and chrome os so you should definitely try any one of these applications and let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite notes applications on your respective devices so if you find this video tutorial useful please click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel click on the subscribe button and lastly thanks for watching